Hi guys and welcome to yet another video of the T238 MOSFET This time I'm going over a new uh, version 3 uh, version uh, This one has a single board so not a top board anymore uh, Which I like so you don't have to adjust the uh, the second part of the trigger um, in my previous video, uh, you've noticed that I, um, or at least um, I stated that my um, MOSFET didn't work at the end because of the switch was malfunctioning, or at least it was broken. Uh, I've yet since switched it out for a new one, and now it fires and functions pretty fine. It's okay. Um, so I also told you that I made a 3D printed uh, speed trigger. Well, this was it. And I made this one a little bit higher than the than the standard because there's nothing here. Usually it's in the middle over here that pushes the pushes the switch. So you had to cut that out for the previous version as for it to be able to work. Um, and then I added some material here. I started up pretty high, and then I lowered it uh, gradually so it um, well so it uh, filled filled fine for me so I could use it uh, like like I wanted to um, so I haven't installed this one yet this is really the first time uh, I'm going to install it going to see it um, I wanted to go over it so like it like it's uh, how it comes out of the box so as you can see it's pre-wired it doesn't have the gel blaster wires on it um, what the other versions had stock um, they do still come with tabs for the um, um, for the gel blasters for winding up the magazine those are the the silver springy ones if you want to know what these are so that's that so what's new with this is you have um, in the in the box the box is pretty much it's yeah pretty much the same as the previous one What's extra is you have a, a swap pad with some alcohol on it to clean out the or clean the sector gear, and you also have stickers for the sector gear. Um, because it's an optical, this way it can see where the sector gear is relative to um, uh, well to the piston and to the to the MOSFET. So as you can see, you have three stickers. Uh, that are half cut so black and silver and you have one that's cut in four so black silver black silver um, it's pretty well they they put in an extra manual to explain what these are exactly basically what it is is the four are the one for the dual sector gear so the DSGs and these are for the singular sector gear and let me zoom in and I'll show you a bit let me see. As you can see, you see a small tear um, cut out. That's how the sector gear, uh, or at least there's there's a cam in the sector gear that's um, for the um, it's for the cutoff lever. So that you have to uh, stick it on the lower side, and you can see exactly how to uh, because of the the cutout. So and for the DSG, you can see it's a uh, it's a double, well it's not a double teardrop, but yeah, you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, that's what you're going to need for the, or at least that's what's in the packaging at the moment. Also, well the stock stuff that was in the previous ones, you also have a sticker for the uh, selector plate. And some motor connectors and also the pads, the, the sticky pads that you don't, well, don't really need. And some heat shrink. So, and... Yeah, Tamiya connectors. Not sure why they still keep using these, those Mia t mini Tamiyas. Uh, everybody really should switch over to Deans. Not only for the space, but also for the resistance. And yeah, it, come on, guys, it's 2020. It's not nine. It's not no, well, 2000 or something. So the MOSFET has is comes pre-wired. Uh, the pre-wiring is well these the solder joints are really nice so for gel blasters you can just install it as is uh, but for airsoft I recommend uh, exchanging the wires for some um, 16 gauge because they come pre-soldered with or pre-wired with 20 gauge wires for the thick one and 28 for the signal wire 
So yeah, I wouldn't recommend using those for aerosol because it's too thin and they're going to heat up and uh, starve your system basically. So wouldn't recommend those just get, uh, or at least I'm using Alpha Eco Wire. I pref prefer those over PTFE. PTFE is really good as well, but I've noticed that with Alpha Eco Wire, it doesn't get uh, damaged as easily as PTFE. So some corners or with the motor going over it with motor height, you can damage them easier easier than with Alpha Eco Wire. Uh, at least that's my experience. Theoretically, PTFE would be stronger, but yeah, that's just my experience, and I love the Alpha Eco Wire. I also think like the Gate Titan uses those, so or I don't think so. I know for a fact. Um, you can get them at Jeffstron, so they can get you can buy them per meter. So if you don't use a lot, like I I usually get them in bulk, like by per 50 meter or something. But if you don't use a lot, you can get them by per meter. I think it's like at the moment one one euro and twenty cents so one one dollar and fifty one dollar fifty i think approximately i don't know what the the currency is at the moment but uh, yeah i think that's pretty much it so not really that expensive and you get pretty good uh, quality wires um so it comes pre-wired um that's really good and uh, like i said the solder joints are good as well you zoom in a bit as you can see the solid joints are, are pretty pretty decent pretty nice so yeah they really did a good job on that one I really think they're improving rapidly um, every time they uh, they come up with a new one also they used to use those uh, transparent covers for the for the motor connectors I'm sorry for the focus I'm recording this on the phone so sometimes the focus just yeah, it keeps out of focusing. I'm sorry about that. Um, so they're now using heat shrink, and yeah, I really like that because I always had to exchange those for just heat shrink. So they're using good quality heat shrink, uh, or yeah, that it's really sturdy on there. It's 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 thick, so yeah, that's a good good quality heat shrink. Um, also on this one, so yeah, usually you have to cut these uh, to length, but if they're uh, the correct length already then yeah, you can just, it's pretty much plug and play. Uh, only thing you need to solder is the motor connector, motor connection, or the, I'm sorry, the battery connection. This is for the, this the positive and the negative is over here. So that's the only thing you need to solder to, well, for me, to Dean's. Um, and that's pretty much it about the wiring. Like I said, I'm going to exchange them, so I'm going to take a little break and solder those because yeah, you don't need to see me solder new wires. I think if you want to install this, you need to have some basic knowledge of soldering and a gearbox. So those steps I'm going to skip over and just show you how to install it and how it works. Um, like I said, uh, it's my first time as well to install this one, so I'm learning as I go. So if you notice anything that I did wrong or that you say maybe you can do this did this another way or something, just let me know. Um, I'll make sure I um, update it in, the in a new video or, well, at least I'm going to use it if I install them. So for the selector switch, there's a neat little trick or at least what I do with my MP5K it's uh, well you have to determine where the sticker goes so as you can see here is the white sticker and what I do is I place the gearbox inside the lower receiver and then you can set the selector to semi and on the other side oh, you have to hold in the gearbox as it should. You could always uh, screw it in just to be sure that it's in place. But yeah, if, if you keep it keep it level, then you can see just as well. So now it's in semi mode, and then what you can do with let me get a small bit on the screwdriver. So what you can do now is make a small line on the on the tappet or on the gearbox over here whatever you'd like 
doesn't really matter maybe you can do it with pen or something um, where exactly the tablet plate is in semi mode so when you um, remove the selector switch like so and remove the gearbox so the tablet still is in, in its place so the wires are a bit constricted there we go so now you can see for the sticker placement I removed the older one so I can show you so for this one in semi mode it was in this position so it means that in that position you need to see the the sensor so that means that you just have to put it on the edge of the sensor because when you move it to auto mode it's supposed to block the sensor so just before it does that that's where you need to put the sticker and that should be more than enough enough to yeah that should be more than good so once you place the sticker then you can glue it in with some um, super glue or something it's okay sticky by itself but I think if you're going to move it and it rubs against the gearbox or against the receiver then it's probably going to um, fall off so definitely super glue that in so you're sure that it doesn't move or anything and well for the installation part that's pretty much it also one more thing for the trigger because they uh, with the older ones you needed to remove this post but what I can see from the sensors is that now it uses this top post to uh, determine where the trigger is so um, I'm guessing you still have to keep it not sure I couldn't find it on the github um, site for the T238 if you need to remove it or keep it but if I look at the sensors as I think you need to keep it I will be doing a video once it, it's up and running and working to see if um, that really is the case if so I'll revise the video and um, touch on this subject again but for now I think yeah that's pretty much it then I'll make another video of it functioning uh, I also put the link for the MOSFET in the description small disclaimer I did get this MOSFET for free to review it uh, this definitely doesn't mean that I'm biased or anything because I always believe in a fair review otherwise yeah you wouldn't be here uh, listening to my review so um, yeah, uh, if you'd like them, just go to the link there. Well, pretty much they're from AliExpress and they're pretty much priced everywhere the same. So this one is from NF Strike and they were kind enough to send me uh, this unit and the uh, unit before. So yeah, they're really helping me out uh, and helping you guys out so I can do a review for you guys and uh, get that information out of there. So if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below or shoot me a message. I'll be happy to help you out. Take care.